Welcome to RCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse, and I'm here with Serge Wittenegger. He is Senior Vice President of Product Management at Qualcomm. Thanks so much for making the time, Serge. My pleasure. We heard a great presentation from you today about Gigabit LTE. So I think the first question is, what is Gigabit LTE and why do we need this? So Gigabit LTE is the ability to uh, uh, transmit with up to one gigabit per second in, in the downlink from the, the, the tower to the, to the device. And, and really, it's also a proxy for a number of technology capability that help uh, enable just better user experience on the device, better coverage for data connectivity, uh, and, and really higher throughput in general. And, and that would enable um, better use cases, better user experience, just basic in terms of downloading um, web pages uh, to video consumption on the device, getting the, keeping the higher quality further uh, into the coverage, uh, and ultimately en enabling new use cases such as uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, uh, consistent cloud connectivity for, uh, for professional utilization, industrial um, IoT uh, for factory op operation. So it's really about moving the ecosystem, the industry into a new direction and enabling uh, new business model and use cases. Does it also help with more efficient use of spectrum, better throughput? Absolutely. So, so uh, these technology features, uh, they, they typically benefit uh, the end user in terms of better connectivity, more reliable connectivity. But conversely, they can also be used to uh, improve the economics of, of the network by being able to send more bits per, per resource uh, of spectrum or, or base station um, antennas and so on and so forth. And ultimately, step by step, uh, and that's been happening for 25 years really, uh, improve the economics and enable things like unlimited data plans or high definition video um, on the device. All things that I guess have been uh, announced recently and sort of come and go, but directionally the economics keep being improved and, and allow more data consumption on the go. And Gigabit LTE itself has been announced recently by some carriers, yes? Absolutely. So, so uh, actually Telstra in Australia uh, have actually launched it commercially uh, in their system, in their network. Uh, in North America, uh, T-Mobile, AT&T uh, have been public about the fact that they would uh, launch it this year. Uh, again, activating all the different technology components that underpin this Gigabit LT product. And then beyond North America, uh, we have uh, announcements and commitments in, uh, in Asia, in Japan, Korea, and uh, Europe. So it's, it's really getting uh, global traction. Okay, great. Now let's talk about those technology components that underpin this, because those are the areas where, where you are contributing. Mm -hmm. For so, example, so, so, yeah. So there are really three, three components that um, that are relevant. One is um, carrier aggregation, and that's a little bit of a uh, uh, term that difficult to understand. But uh, conceptually, it's very easy. Um, LTE utilizes uh, some channel, some 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 channel of of spectrum, and what we do, we kind of bundle. Um, uh, a, number of, um, a number of those channels together to achieve higher bandwidth and higher data rates. So when we say 3x carrier aggregation, we really mean that the device is able to receive data streams from three different LTE channels that could be operated in three different chunk of spectrum uh, operated by the, the mobile okay. operator. That's a great explanation. And then within each channel, you can have multiple and then in addition, yes, each channel, so LTE so far has been traditionally using um, uh, two antennas on the mobile device to receive data on, e on each of the LTE channel. Um, and really, it's called two by two MIMO, which really means there are two streams of data going on in parallel in each uh, channel. With Gigabit LTE and the product that we've announced, we're moving that to four streams. So again, adding two antennas on the device and enabling the device to receive four streams in parallel per channel. So with this latest product we've announced, the uh, SDX20, uh, we can receive actually up to 1.2 gigabit per second 
which uh, can happen by receiving four streams in each of three LT channels, so three times four, 12, and that's 1.2 gigabit per second. Okay, great. And those are all licensed channels, none unlicensed? They, those channels, uh, obviously, nominally, they are in the licensed spectrum, but obviously, access to licensed spectrum is kind of constrained in many regions of the world, including North America. And uh, what we've also done is uh, enable operation of the LT technology in unlicensed spectrum. Um, and, and essentially that allows operators who don't have um, uh, sufficient spectrum assets or the spectrum assets are, are um, occupied by, by the traffic to expand into this additional spectrum and offer gigabit LT capability. So by doing that, we've expanded the addressable opportunity from 16% of the carriers in the world to about 90%. So really uh, propagating the benefits of gigabit LTE across um, all users and all carriers globally. And what needs to happen on the smartphone side to support it? So one of the key components, as mentioned, is this uh, 4 by 4 MIMO, right. which enables um, uh, these additional streams. The interesting thing is, one, these additional antennas are, are designed on the device. They're not only useful to get more streams of data, they're also useful to get more signal from, from the tower. So as the device moves away from the tower towards the edge of the cell, and would, the, the, the throughput would typically go down, because of these additional antennas, the device is able to get more energy uh, from the tower, and as a result, um, sustain a higher throughput, uh, even at the edge of the cell. So it's sort of double benefit. If you're closer to the antenna, you get more streams of data simultaneously. If you're away from the tower, you get higher throughput because you're able to collect more energy from the system. And all in all, that means you can operate your device or sustain the, the video quality uh, consistently uh, higher across the system. And are you seeing a significant number of devices come to market? Absolutely. Uh, so already last year with uh, Snapdragon 820, there have been a few designs, including one uh, from Samsung that uh, designed these four antennas. And this year with the new Snapdragon 835, we're seeing a, a very broad portfolio of devices that are uh, integrating these additional antennas. So I would expect uh, a number of announcements in the coming uh, weeks and months uh, that consistently enable gigabit LTE on those devices.